desk. In just under 24 hours, FIFA is expected to deliver a verdict on the World Cup qualifier between Ghana and South Africa. Safa complained to the World Football Governing Body last week about match manipulation, citing a dubious penalty. Now, to preview what might happen tomorrow, we're joined by ENC's Tsepo Tobani. Good evening to you, Tsepo. So the general belief in the football fraternity, except from the Ghanaians, of course, mm. is that FIFA will rule in Bafana's favor. But what if they don't? Yeah, it's a, it's a evening, Moran. I mean, it's a very interesting thing because you look at, you, let's go back to 2017. A very similar scenario where Bafana Bafana at that time were playing against uh, Senegal. Mm. After that game, Bafana won that game by two goals to one. But there was a contentious penalty that was given in that match. Senegal went to, to complain, and then that match was replayed. So it must happen again. History must repeat itself. We must also get the fair share of FIFA's, FIFA's stance on, on such matters. I mean, it's a big, it's a, it could be a big day. Last week, uh, FIFA received uh, the letter of complaint from SAFA. They said tomorrow on the 23rd, they are going to sit down deliberate on the matter and then they could come up with a decision tomorrow or maybe by before the end of this week Moran. now fifa said ghana's football association had until <coughs> saturday the 20th to give their input to essentially put their case forward as to why they feel this game should not be replayed what are we hearing from their side in the build-up to this verdict i mean they took out an immediate response lashing out at safa mm. saying they are shocked with what safa is doing according to them they won the game that is Ghana, of course. They want the game fair and square. They do not see why is South Africa. They do not see the need for South Africa to complain in the manner that they are doing. I mean, I mean, we, everyone saw that game. I mean, dubious penalties, uh, 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 questionable decisions that were taken throughout that entire match. Yeah. And for Ghana to come out and say Safa is, is shocking them, I mean, it's unbelievable. But let's wait and see. Let's see how FIFA is going to decide for which country. Of course. Now... Let's say FIFA does grant the replay, which of course every South African is hoping is the case. Is it possible to have it played at a neutral <coughs> venue? It was Ghana's home game, but Safa did complain about the hospitality from Ghana, which is one of the things that Ghana lashed out about in their statement. Can this be played at a neutral venue? I mean, Morena, looking at South African teams in particular in CAF competitions, it's well known. Unfortunately, it only happens in Africa. Mm. But a lot of, I mean, you go back to 1995 when Orlando Pirates won the Champions League, the dirty t uh, tricks that they faced from other countries. You go back to the year Sundowns won the Champions League. Same scenario. In fact, to this day, most South African teams, when they play in CAF competitions, we know about dirty tactics mm -hmm. and tricks. But when it came to that match between Bafana Bafana and Ghana, it was beyond. That game was worse. I mean, it, it favors South Africa. With, with regards to playing at a neutral venue, mm -hmm. I will use that game. Uh, between Bafana Bafana and Senegal in 2017 as a point of reference. When the game was replayed, it was replayed still in South Africa, so I don't expect much from that. If it's replayed, then it could go back to Ghana. Right. Just before we let you go, Maget Ndiaye. He's the reason both nations are here. He's the reason both nations are putting out statements, fighting each other. He's the reason FIFA is now having to decide what's going to happen. What happens to him if this match is to be replayed? Lifetime ban. It's as simple as that. Simple and this is obviously the same case that happened yes, with Senegal exactly. uh, in 2017 where that referee got a lifetime ban. Right. Uh, quickly again, there's AFCON happening in January. Then the next international window is March. The draw for the playoffs is happening this week after the CAF meeting, executive meeting. When do we play the replay if there is a replay? In December next month, Moren. There's always space. I mean, you look, talking about the draw, there's the, the next final qualification matches are only happening next year, March. Mm. So between now and March, there's plenty of time for the match to, to retake place.